All right, so we're going to look at this replay. Uh, before we get started, some things about the Young Link matchup. If you watch the way Wrath plays, which I know Cerise has watched the way Wrath plays this matchup because of the way Cerise plays it here, he's going to projectile spam. And maybe you get hit by an arrow or a boomerang every now and again, and maybe it even leads into a follow-up. But if you DI away uh, from everything, he can't chase you as far off the stage as you can recover from, so he can never close you out uh, and edge guard you. Um, if you play patient on the ledge, he doesn't really have anything that he can hit you with off ledge. You kind of just wait for him to throw something, and then you recover during his lag. And if he doesn't throw anything, then, you know, that's a different game. And then he, uh, in, in neutral, you can kind of bounce around his projectiles and, um, you can spin at the right times and, and you'll win. So, so let's start it up. I think you start by kind of just running around a little bit. He drops bomb, arrow, and he tries to grapple you here. Just want to say up top that uh, I'm really going to pause a lot here to analyze why you get hit, um, what you're doing wrong. But this one, uh, it just looks like you whiffed to grab uh, because of, probably because of Wi-Fi. So there will be a couple times where I mention Wi-Fi is probably the reason that you whiffed this thing. And that's unfortunate, but that's the way it is. So let's move on. Let's see. And I mean, you're just getting swatted here. So let's look over this whole exchange again. The first part that we got to look at is you, to get out of disadvantage here, you air dodge directionally. That's not necessary. Already, you're putting yourself in a disadvantageous position for like no good reason. If he threw something there that wasn't going to, that, that you were going to dodge by dodging backward, if you just dodged with a neutral air dodge, you still would have dodged it and you would have landed faster and there would have been less lag because there's way less lag on the neutral air dodge. Use neutral air dodge. Neutral air dodge is super, super good. If you just spam press the button when you're in disadvantage, you'll just get out of combos for free. Anyway, so you go back to ledge and you press a button immediately. You, you get up, you shield, you nair out of shield, it misses, and you get hit for it with an out of shield option. Sonic doesn't have good out of shield options. There's so sometimes you know there's some upside to using a, 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 a one of Sonic's uh, aerials out of shield, sure, but usually your best bet is to use like a spring to get away or a run away or you know something else. Um, so so this whole disadvantage chain really starts because you tried to use Sonic out of out of shield and that's not how he works. Even though that's how most of Smash works, that's not how Sonic works. So. You're gonna get hit quite a few times for this. Um, this kind of that that whole exchange right there kind of just looks like you got hit for for um, not shielding fast enough because it started with the bomb hit, and uh, and that was just kind of an odd odd pacing. I would say you kind of just got a little outplayed there, but also part of it yet again is Wi-Fi um, because you're you're not shielding fast enough, and that's a Wi-Fi thing really. So you're going to go back to ledge, let's see what you do. You get up immediately, and you get pressured, but... See, e even even though you didn't get hit for that whole exchange, it still feels bad, because, like... <laughs> you, you, go, you go to ledge, and you get up immediately, you get pressured, and now look at all this movement you're doing. You're going, you're going all the way over here, and you're going to spin over here, and this ends up going well for you this time, but feels like all this movement that you're doing is being forced by the young link. And if it's being forced by him, that means that he is conditioning. And if he's conditioning, that means that it's stuff that he feels he has control over, movement that you're doing that he has control over, that's going to result in him. Even if he doesn't know it now, he can learn those movements, what you're doing, and he can adjust to them and find counterplay to them. He can punish you really hard for doing them. I don't know, you're kind of just in a bad position already. Like, you're already in a really bad position just because of like, what, what's happened? You're 109%. All of this damage is because of, like, one or two little mistakes. You don't have the lead. You don't have the lead. And so, I mean, you, you're gonna have to be approaching the whole game now. Like, and that's just not how Sonic wins. See, right here, you, 
you finally get a dash attack, you you guys go back to neutral for the first time since this game started, and you had to approach, and, and now you're sitting on him trying to pressure him out of his shield, and that's exactly, like, where you don't want to be against any character in the game. Uh, but, I mean, you get a good spin charge, and yet again, this this right here is just a sad fact of life. Um, <laughs> or, I mean, it depends on your perspective, but, like, this game still requires skill, and if you miss techs, you're gonna, you're gonna get killed for it sometimes. That was, this, this young Link player, he's not bad, he's a really good player. So, I mean, you gotta give him props for it, because that was a really good, uh, uh, follow-up from knowing that you're gonna roll there. When, when you get put in a tech position like that, especially on Wi-Fi, because teching is so much harder on Wi-Fi, uh, people always are going to read that you're going to miss tech uh, on Wi-Fi. So if you do miss the tech, you ha it's, it's a lot more about mixing up your what you're going to do. When you're, on the, when you're on the plat missing tech like that, the best thing to do is to use your get-up attack. Because everyone always expects that you're going to press buttons. This is bad. Oh god. Okay, so what happens here? So so you get back uh from Halo and you immediately try to do some grab or something. It doesn't work out. He gets bomb into dare dare down tilt fair looking for boomerang follow up after that. That's really cool. Yeah, he, so he's a really good player, so he's going to punish you for like really small mistakes like that. So I feel like in a, in a matchup like this, you should be taking your time to approach and uh it feels like it feels like in your in your neutral exchanges you're kind of rushing, and probably probably just because you feel pressure because you're still behind. Um, yet again, this kill right here, you missed attack on the platform. That's it. I mean, that's the whole game right there. You you missed attack and he punished you for it like that. And 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 that's another thing as well. So so missing the tech that's one thing that really sucks. But you still could have lived there. And, and the reason that you didn't is because he. You didn't expect him to come up for the second hit. You expected him to, to lay off. Never expect your opponent to lay off. Always expect them to come. They have no reason to not come up and try to get you. So, so in that situation, I spring and, and, and I fall back down and, and I probably air dodge at some point. Spring, yep. Uh, so so this, this right here, this uh, homing attack thing that you're doing... Yeah, Wrath does this in the Young Link matchup too. I don't like it. I think it's stupid. I think that if you only attacked him once and he's like you're forcing him to recover, uh, you you're either gonna get a two frame or you're gonna get a fair at some point. And it, this feels dumb because like you're gonna miss it eventually. Like so because he messed this up, he comes back from ledge. Let's look at this. Let's look at what he does off ledge and what you react to with it. So you come back, you get hit by the up B, which, put, which puts you in disadvantage, and you refuse to be put into disadvantage. So you jump back onto stage, he jumps up off, off ledge with Nair, and now you're right in front of him, and he gets a chain grab on you. So you refuse to admit you were in disadvantage, and now you're going to get punished for it. Um, I can't blame you for doing stuff like that, but if you get hit off stage, go to ledge. You 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 went you went up over him and and tried to try to take your advantage back before he got onto the stage, and that's short sighted and um you're gonna you're gonna get hit for it. And that finishes the game. If I have any general tips for this game, it's just like. Respect the three phases of the game. When you're in disadvantage, admit that you're in disadvantage and decide that you're going to come back to uh, to neutral clean. You're going to do it, you know, as slow as you need to. And uh, the, op the, the objective is to take as little damage as possible coming back to neutral. Now, if you take damage coming back to neutral, that sucks, but it's going to happen. As soon as you take damage, you forget the emotions behind taking damage, you forget the the position, you just think about, like, where you are now, don't, don't think about, like, ah, oh, you know, and let the moral hit you, Oh man, I got hit again, this is going really poorly, because now it's gonna make you rush, you're gonna rush too fast, and you're gonna get vortex, because you're thinking too much about the position of your game, how far behind you are, let your opponent, if your opponent's in the lead, let them decide the pace of the game, 
if they're going to camp and stuff, then you have to take that on as you take it on. But if they're not gonna, don't rush them down just because you're nervous. Alright, game two, you took him to Kalos. That's good. Kalos, Kalos is good because you can camp this character a lot more. Okay, looking better so far. You got hit there because you didn't do anything. Let me see that again. Yeah, so... You, you hit him and you landed and you didn't do anything. Uh, it's probably just a Wi-Fi thing. I don't know. That's weird. I feel like you're pressing buttons too much. You're getting punished here because you're, you're pressing buttons that aren't going to hit. Um, you, you retreat. You decide your position is retreating. And then you approached immediately again. And now you're just going to get hit by a boomerang. So you retreated that position back to center stage. And then you, and then you approached into him. While he's throwing projectiles. Now you're going to get punished for it. Not shielding enough. Um, you're just. You're, you're picking up shield could be better. Here you get you get killed. Because you used homing attack the wrong time. And that's just unfortunate. That's an unfortunate homing attack. When you're cancelling spins. You're looking for what your opponent. Is reacting to. So you should, uh, and, and I have like, I'm almost certain right now watching what you just did right here with this missed homing attack, that you're not watching what your opponent is doing when you threw that homing attack out. I'm quite certain that you were just paying attention to your tech, that you were making sure, oh, I canceled the spin and now I'm going to, you know, VSJ. If they're in motion, homing attack isn't going to land. Watch your opponent when you're doing the cancels, because in that position, if it were me, I probably would have retreat cancelled with another VSJ, or maybe aerial spin charge so I could clank through a projectile, or I might have just ran un under them because they're they're jumping a lot. When they're when when opponents are uh, jumping a lot, something that you can do that really fucks them up is if you can find a way through their projectiles, you can cross them up while they're in the air. Be Did the yeah, again. Air dodging in a direction. He's just get, he now he knows that you're gonna do it. He's just waiting for you to land so he can punish you. So air dodging in a direction is very bad. Um, I mean, all that damage is unfortunate, but there wasn't a whole lot you could do about it uh, except maybe make better decisions in neutral. Uh, the F smash. Uh. The F-Smash's end lag isn't that bad, so you can throw an F-Tilt usually, like, immediately after. So start trying to spam F-Tilt after your F-Smashes, see if that helps you out a little bit there. Um, because, yeah, I'll, I'll use it, if you properly space it, especially, I don't know how well the spacing was on that F-Smash, but if you properly space it, um, and it hits a, it, it only hits at the tip, they are getting shield lag towards the end of the move's active frames. And then, you know, that's less, they, they have more shield lag lapping over the time that your end lag is on that move is taking place. So it's harder for them to punish it. So the better you space it, the the easier it is to get away with it. You, you're going to lose if you get nervous. You're going to lose if, if you, uh, if you don't have, you know, patience and, and mental fortitude. Let me look at that one more time. Feels like, you're landing. It's bad. Getting hit by arrows and shit when you're charging spins. That's going to happen. And you kind of just got to move on. Not let it mentally get to you. But it's it's what happens after that. That kind of matters. Is that you have all this time in the air. And you're just trying to land. And that's all you're doing. And he just dash attacks you for free. And now you're in a really bad position off stage. When you're landing. you should You should like you know. The landing part, that should be automatic muscle memory. You fast fall towards whichever direction you want to go. Your active active mind, your, your, your mental game should be towards how am I going to prevent myself from getting hit while I'm landing? What am I going to do? You can go to the ledge. You can land with hitboxes. You can dodge. You can spring. Trying to do the homing attack thing again here. And then you get killed because you extend your hitbox with back air, which sucks. But uh, this is this is 
a good example of why I don't like that Wrath does that homing attack thing. Because I have a rule uh, that I almost always observe, at least, uh, uh, as Sonic, that I don't homing attack away from the stage. Unless I absolutely, absolutely know it's going to hit. Like, if I've got them really high, really far up, and I'm going for a, a, a long... Uh, developed read or something, that's great, you know, go for a homing attack facing away from the stage. But even if I can recover from a homing attack facing away from the stage, I would rather fucking not do it, because it puts you in a really bad position. Sonics, you know, they can get back to stage for, for free so often that they don't think about how much resources, how much stage control they're really losing every time they do some random homing attack away from stage and then they have to go to ledge. So now your last stock here. I also, uh, when, when I get down from Halo, I also uh, am known to go for a grab immediately. It never fucking works. They always jump. Um, the best thing to do when you have your iframes is use them as free positioning and free conditioning. Uh, because your opponent knows you have iframes, they don't want to get hit, they're going to jump, or they're going to roll, or they're going to use a move or something, so, you know, maybe keep a mental checklist, like, the first time you come down from Halo, what do they do? Maybe they'll do the same thing the second time, because a lot of times people do the same thing every time someone drops from Halo, they just get comfortable that way, so pay attention to that, um, and if they don't, you know, just use it as conditioning. Don't try to go for, you know, a laggy box or something, because one one missed grab, you're just going to get hit immediately afterwards. People have the timing for your iframes running out after Halo. They have the timing down to a science. So don't throw out laggy shit when you come down from Halo because you can and will get punished for it. Just use it for positioning. Let's talk about this right here, the spin that you do. Um, here, you jump back. And he just pivot grabs you. Um, you should have a rotating idea of what you're going to do after spin all the time based on what your opponent is reacting to when you come out of spin. So if they're, you know, jumping forward with the hitbox out of shield when you spin, when you come out of spin, don't jump through their shield and pass them. If they're doing the same thing in the opposite direction or if they're running uh, the opposite direction of your spin... Uh, on on stage, don't jump backwards after the spin. If, if you know these are things, when, when you're playing the game, you gotta keep a mental checklist of of a lot of things. One of them is what does your opponent do out of shield when you spin on their shield. Um, often the safest option when you spin on their shield, if you really don't want to get hit, is to just use a spring, because um, the spring will hit them if they try to do out of shield options, and if they don't, they still have to you know. Condition your landing so that they can hit you when you land, which some characters have it easy, but a lot of times, uh, if you're a better player, uh, you'll find a way to get around whatever they're doing, and you'll find a way to outplay them and land. Again, you get punished for pressing a button immediately off of ledge. Stop doing that. Worry less about, worry less about recovering, and worry more about not taking damage while you recover. Sonic's recovery is automatic. Once you get very comfortable with the character, you should always be able to recover from anywhere. There, there's, there's no reason to to panic when you're on the ledge. There's no reason reason to rush back to stage unless it's a conscious decision to do it. And and that's really what the problem is. If you were if you were you know if you were pressing a button immediately after getting off uh, on ledge, and it was working, I wouldn't be pissed about it because. It would be working because that would mean to me you were making a conscious decision to outplay your opponent in a certain way. You were making a, a read on him or you were you were deciding on his mental game and understanding what he was doing. And you knew that pressing a button as soon as you got off the ledge was the right decision. But you're not doing that. You're just hitting a button when you get on the ledge because you think it's part of the flow, your flow chart and you think that's something that you should just absolutely be doing right now. You're panicking and you're rushing. And when you panic and you rush, you lose. So when you grab the ledge, wait a minute, wait a second, you know, you've got iframes, so just wait a second while you're there, and just think about what you should be doing next, and don't panic, because, you know, you panic, that, that's what, the, that's what these players are conditioned to absolutely every time hit you for doing, they always know what their opponent's panic options are, so don't panic. 
the homing attack thing works that time. It pushes him out of range. That's good. Uh, if, if you like it, you can keep using it. I'm not saying it's terrible all the time. It's just not something I'm comfortable with. And you get killed with forward throw. Okay, so let's take a look at why you get killed with forward throw. You get put in the position because you're getting hit by arrows in neutral because you're not shielding fast enough. And then you do this awkward spin that you're not comfortable with. And did you tech? You must have teched. Yeah. You teched and you shielded. And no one can blame you for shielding after you tech. But maybe sometimes do a spot dodge or just a jump immediately afterwards instead of spamming shield. Because it's the most popular option to do after a tech. So people often, you know, if they see you tech, they are assuming you're going to shield. 